most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having. The lies that people tell usually put them in hell is true. The lies that a woman tells about how she's friends with me or friends with you might be the lie that she tells. The lie that a person tells is not yours to play with. You see, people all have things that they do not disclose. A non-disclosure agreement is usually a part of any corporation. That these are our trade secrets. These are our recipes. These are the things that we do to make a living and therefore we don't tell them to other people. It's usually why we have non-compete clauses when we have people who come to our companies that are very unique. It openly means that if for some reason this conversation, this employment situation does not work out, we're not allowing you to go work for our competition and taking our secrets and our trade secrets to them. In life, we all have things and all have unique situations that we don't talk about. In families where there's abuse, they might not talk about it publicly. They might talk about it in order for someone who's the abuser to avoid the noose. But here's the situation that every American citizen has. The right to the privacy of their health conditions. The new time of COVID is sort of ruining our privacy. It's basically saying that if I wear a mask, I have something. If I don't wear a mask, I don't have something. And that is not necessarily true. You see, we have the right to the privacy of every aspect of our human body, especially our genitalia. And I've been on this topic for some time because what I'm hearing across the nation from these stupid-ass religious right politicians is that they think that they have the right to me and you. They don't have the right to tell a woman what she can and cannot do with her body. They don't have the right to tell a man what he is allowed to disclose and what he isn't allowed to share. But most people with unique health conditions that don't impact society in any way because of the privacy of their nature have the right to decide who they're going to give information to and who they're not going to share it with. The foolishness of American people is allowing people who have no careful caring of other people's lives to be involved in someone's situation. You see, when I'm a person with a medical condition and the Lord says, I think you should check this out at a hospital, we have the right in our nation still to go get a second and third opinion. We are all taught this, and at least I was raised with that, raised with that principle. But if you think that this new continuity of care program is going to regard our privacy of our medical situations, you are wrong. Because what it says to a hospital that is huge, what it says to a clinic that is small, that any human being on their staff has a right to see your records, your medical records. And that is a lie to me and you. Because what they're saying across America is our medical records are private. They belong only to you. And we are merely the support staff in the medical industry that is caring for you. Bullshit. You are the medical staff in an industry that is destroying and abusing our privacies too. If you don't believe me, just walk into a clinic and watch your paperwork follow its way through. If you don't see this ideology, then I pray that you don't have to go to a mammoth hospital for anything you might need. But what I do know about medical situations, what I have experienced in my own hunt for the new physician after mine allegedly died of an aneurysm, is that the people in his company didn't regard life enough to keep the basically patient. And that lying doctor who felt that he only had to write one script and then he could let somebody go was a liar in that practice. Because in the days of old, if someone passed away who was a physician, that other person as a part of his partnership would take on that patient's situation. But in our society, we do have the right to choose new physicians, new nurses, new practitioners, if we don't feel that they're listening to what we need for our life. The liars of a family will steal information copy photo and photocopy medical records and even give them out to police in such a lie that it destroys a life. 
You see, the liars of a family always gossip. The liars of a family will tell you, yep, I'm listening, nobody else will know about this, and then they'll turn around, walk to their nearest neighbor, their nearest sibling, their nearest colleague, and share your information.